Hello students, your instructor here, Jamin Diola, and we're working to illustrate it today, go through a little quick screencast, hopefully I can fit it all in, uh, about different ways to space, space out your typography uh, with Illustrator. You can also do this with InDesign or even Photoshop, but I find it much easier and faster to work with Illustrator. So first of all, i got the color green here, I'm just going to draw a square real quick. This is going to be 4 inches by 4 inches, click OK. Now I've got that in place, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Object, Path, Split into Grid. Okay, it goes 16 rows across. You can see it's going to divide 16 rows. I want 16 columns. Now I'm going to put gutter at zero, which means no space in between, and gutter at zero there. So I can see it's going to be 16 by 16 squares, each of 0.25 by 0.25 inches. They're all perfect squares. Click OK, and presto. And now what I want to do is click here, oops, and Smart Guides helps in this case because it'll highlight whenever I get to a new one. And I'm just going to make this a different color real quick, just so it's easy to see. And actually, I'm just going to delete all these. I don't really need those. And instead, I'm just going to take all these, object group them, and then I'm going to Alt-Shift-Drag down. And again, Smart Guides is nice because it lets me know exactly where I am. I'm going to go to the Transform panel. Make sure that's in the middle. Go to Flip Horizontal, just like that. So now that I've got that in place, what I'm going to do is I can take all these, Drag it down, then I'm going to go to Object Transform again, which is Control D or Command D. And this is going to do the exact same thing I did before, which was just drag down two more rows. So it's a nice pattern just like that. And that's great. Um, now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take all this and I'm going to Object Lock it, lock the selection. So now I cannot click on it, I can't move it around by accident, which is good. That's what I want. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to zoom in quite a bit. Grab my text tool, click in here, once this gets going here. Alright, I'm going to set this to be the paragraph to be centered, first of all. And I'm going to click in here. Notice it will make black text by default, that's fine. I'm just going to click the letter W. Now I've got this, I'm going to reposition it. I'm not really worried too much about lining up just perfectly. I just want to kind of visually look good. And that's good, and I'm going to zoom out a little bit. And a little bit more. And a little bit more. There we go. And now, I'm just going to drag this over. Notice that even though the squares behind are locked, that Illustrator knows, because the smart guides are in play, Illustrator knows that I probably want to align it up along the center, which I do. So I got that. Then again, it's going to be Control D or Command D a whole bunch of times again. This is just transform again. Control D or Command D, like I said. That gets them over like that. And where the blue squares are, I want those letters to be white. So I'm just going to select those, holding shift each time I select on one. I was going to select multiples at a time. I've got this kind of thing going on here. And I can select all these, bring them down, and again, smart guides come and play. Right there, looks good. Except this isn't good. So I want to do, again, transform, flip horizontal. But now the letters have actually been flipped over. Or maybe they haven't. Well, whatever. I'm just gonna leave those the way they are. Let's see. Yes, they haven't flipped over. So that's a bad advice. Get rid of that. All right. Take this. Drag this down again. Color all these to be black. Color just the blue ones, or the ones on the blue squares, I should say, to be white. There we go. Now, I can take all this, object, group it, and drag down like that. And then it's just Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D, Control D. Now, I notice the bottom here, they're a little bit too close to the top of the squares. That's okay. So, what I'm going to do is get the last one in place. Use my arrow keys right where I want it. That looks good. One down. Then what I'm going to do, since I have groups here, I'm just going to select all these letter groups. Go to the Align panel. And this one right here distributes space. If I click on this, it'll just figure out the middle ground between them all. So now they're all nicely aligned out like that. Uh, and now I can take these letters and make them spell out a word, however, whatever I want. A bunch of different little separate ones. Goodbye.